I've been practicing law at Kelly Dry and Warren for 27 years and today I hold the position of chair of the firm. But life for me did not begin on Park Avenue. In fact, it began in Hell's Kitchen, which at the time was a poor drug infested neighborhood. I was born into a dysfunctional family that suffered from uh, social and economic hardships and I knew what it was like to be poor and I didn't like that feeling. I had no mentors, I had no family members who were lawyers. In fact, there was no one in my life to pave the way for me. I was one of the first people in my family to obtain a high school diploma and I was the first person in my family to obtain a college degree and a law degree. The lack of diversity in law school and the legal profession was clear to me from the start. In fact, and quite honestly today, it's still a problem. These experiences shaped my philosophy today as a leader, and that is why inclusion is an enormously important goal for Kelly Dry. Diversity is important for the legal profession, and for Kelly Dry in particular, for three reasons. First, the lawyer's role in society is one where we are enforcing rights, and so therefore it's important for lawyers to mirror the demographics of society as a whole. Second, it's absolutely clear to me that our work product is better when we have a diverse team of lawyers working on a product as opposed to having just a bunch of lawyers who represent a single perspective. And third, our clients understand one and two. And so they want a better work product and they want their teams to reflect society. And so they're asking us to make sure that we have diverse teams of lawyers. I think law firms, and our law firm is no exception, do a pretty good job of recruiting diverse attorneys out of law school. Really, the effort has to be on retention of diverse attorneys so that they have every incentive to stay. I have been meeting with every diverse attorney in the law firm and telling them that their success is very important to me personally and trying to establish a relationship so that if there are any bars to their success, that they feel comfortable coming to me before they get frustrated before they decide to explore other options so that we can address those and see what we can do to retain them. What was unique about my arrangement was that I had children and was allowed to work as a part-time attorney from the time I was a relatively uh, young associate. The firm not only allowed me to do it, but supported me by giving me high-level work all along the way. I was given an opportunity to interact with clients, uh, to present arguments at the agencies and in the court, to have top-level interactions all along the way with all of the attorneys. I was never treated differently for being a woman. They didn't treat me differently because I was working part-time, and, and that was really huge because without that mentoring and that support, I don't think I would be where I am today. It engenders a lot of loyalty when a firm does something like that for you. At Kelly Dry, we look for talent in all of the traditional places, but we, we look more, we look further, we look for organizations that may have pipeline programs. Whether they are high school programs or undergraduate programs, these are the programs that encourage underrepresented students to apply to law schools, to pursue a career in the law. Diverse talent is out there, and we have to make it a priority to look for it.